That's why they do that. That's, you know, you, <coughs> you know what I say, standing by or stood by. It's Destination Yuri, by the way, Steve, Steve, Steve. Morning. Uh, Steve Morning. Echoes. Uh, and they say, you know, five, stand by, and we're, we're standing by, and the lights are ready to go. Five, four. And the reason, of course, so, yes. if he's saying five, four, three, two, one, as he's doing the shift and the yeah. fade her, yeah. the one will escape. A whispered one will jump from the board uh, onto the airways yeah. of the world. I just thought my hearing was going. That was all. No, <laughs> no. This is Steve, and I have to say, Morning. probably in justification of many things, Steve, in his own way, is... All right, let's 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 call a spade a spade. <laughs> uh, masculine it is as wonderful as masculinely f fragrant and beautiful. <laughs> Listen to the whole thing, or I get a bad right, reputation. Right. Uh, fragrant and beautiful and handsome, as indeed was the beauteous and the fragrant Joanne Callan, who's just left us. That's kind of all right. That, You're a well, kind of that's, male that's, Joanne Callan. That's no, very not nice. The, not it's nice can. of you but to you say But you know what I'm so saying? Well. You're, You're blah, blah, yeah. on the bike and yeah. you know, biting heads of snakes and stuff. Okay. Not, no, you wouldn't right. do that. I you wouldn't, wouldn't do, do that. The, the, uh, this man is uh, uh, Steve Eccles of Eccles Physiotherapy, down on the Warren Point Road, just beyond on the right-hand side, Kills Garage. Very, very good service down there. Pilates all in the loop as well. Uh, now, uh, we'll get onto all of that in a minute, but right. life science, well, you're not a million miles away from life science, no, are you? Not a million miles. Yep. In the uh, Dick uh, Alstrom, or Ash, Ashdrum, Ashildrum, what a name, I tell you. In today's, I should read these before I... Gonna, could, you know, could help, could, could help. help. You're not supposed to put me down that easily, <laughs> you know. Uh, ten mysteries that refuse to yield their secrets of life. Right. Shall I tell you one? I would, love to, I would love to hear one. This is from the Irish Times today. Mm -hmm. Why do we fall in love? Now, I'll give you a moment to think about it. What a strange mix of the insubstantial mind and physical body. We meet the person of our dreams, and they make our hearts race and give us good goosebumps in our parts. Bra bra brain scans can track brain activity while we experience love. But we don't ask the scan to explain or find out reasons why we fall in love with one person and not another. Why did you fall in love with the person you fell in love with? What was the moment, the, that kind of crossing of the Rubicon from self to togetherness when you said, I know I'm going to be with this boy for the rest of my life. I had such a moment. I will reveal my epiphany to you if you reveal yours to me. Well, man, you're putting me on the spot here, aren't you? I certainly have, baby. Aren't you? That's what makes good television. That is, that's great. Um, what was the point? Uh, Do you want me to uh, tell uh, mine first? You, you tell me yours. And that gives yes. you thinking time. Yes, thank you. Thank you. There used, in my days of growing up, be things called carnivals. And the carnival was a, a summertime, the summer carnival. It was a summer dance in a tent. Mm -hmm. And this carnival was occurring at the field, uh, the football field uh, in Camlock. Yeah. And I went to it with a couple of my mates. And a most beautiful young woman called Marie Graham had done a deal with her mother that day that she would polish the tiles at the front door that red polish that they used to put on the tiles, yeah. cardinal red or whatever it was called, and that as a consequence of her diligence and housework, she would be allowed to go to the carnival that evening. She was 16, maybe 16 and a half. I was 17 and a half. Mm -hmm. I walked into the tent, wooden floor across, the band up on the stage, not yet there, mm -hmm. but they were starting to bring the stuff on, and a little group of sisters and cousins were there, maybe not more than five or six. So there were three of us in from Newry, the lads. Yeah. There were five of them up at the stage. And this one girl with dark brown hair, with a purple cardigan, and with a white and purple flowered what do they call the things that sit out? S skirt. Is that a skirt? That's yeah. It sits out. I, 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 I don't it's know. It's not a frock it. sort of thing. Okay, all right. It's not a sort of tidy pinny. Right. 
And I just looked the whole length. It was maybe 40 meters. Mm -hmm. And I looked, and I was drawn to this person. Zunk. And I walked the length of the tent, and I said, hello, how are you? My name is Rowan Hand. And she said, hello, how are you? My name is Marie Graham. And at that moment, I knew I would marry that woman and spend my life with her. Wow. The bitch divorced me when we were 50, <laughs> when we were 45 years married. But I love her. That, the use of bitch was a, an affectionate term. He was there. joking. No, but it was good. Now, you're, yes. what happened to you? Um, it's not a lovely story, man. It is. It was very nice. It was a lovely story. I, I saw my wife um, in Queen's Union um, on a night out, and, and we talked a little, and um, I, I just... I just thought I'd like to know her a lot better, you know, wow. and, uh, and then we met a few other times and then, and then we eventually yeah, became an item. Became an item, yes. Yes. There you are. So, Such is life. It is indeed. Now, the next question. All right. In the Irish Times okay. 10. Sorry, okay. that wasn't, yes. The origins of life. How did life arise on the overheated young planet in what, uh, for us, would have been a poisonous atmosphere? and toxic oceans. Theories abound, self-replicating chains of molecules, organic chemicals zapped from above by lightning, an information-rich double helix bound up in an early form of genetic DNA. Scientists believe they know what conditions were like 3.8 mil billion years ago, but are unable to say how life spontaneously arose. Hmm. They don't know. How yeah. did life spontaneously arise 3.8 billion years ago? Yours for, your starter for 10, Steve Eccles. Uh, I, I believe that it, would, it, it was a, uh, a mixture of chemicals and, and heat and, and just the right. I think, I think when we talk about life, um, it, it, it's not sentient creatures running around, um, but, but tiny single-celled yeah, um, amoebas. Amoebas and going like things like things like little little lichens and yeah. th you know boring things that you wouldn't even notice at the at the time. Mm. So yeah, that's that's here. probably it. I, I'm yeah. I'm sorry, that's a scientific thing. I mean, you may be looking for a. No, I think it's lovely. A more godlike. I don't know that there is a god. <laughs> How does anyone know there's a god? Because when you get men, professional godders. The men of yes. religion. Yes. It's a mystery. Yeah. Now, when anyone says to me it's a mystery, I say, go <laughs> home. Give my head peace. I don't want to be lying in my deathbed going, I know I'm going to heaven because it's a mystery. <laughs> mystery, my backside. There either is or there's not a God. And our journey in life, I think, is the search for that God. It's the biggest question around. And if, look, the worst thing can happen is we say, we have studied it, there is no God. So, we get on with it. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm with Kierkegaard here. Who? Soren Kierkegaard. Ah, who, who Mullingar said, Kierkegaard. Yes, 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 yes. The Mullingar Kierkegaards. Who, who said that, that, that faith is the thing. There's no proof. You can't prove it yeah. one way or the other. And, and, and you just have to have faith if you do have faith. And if you yeah. don't, that, that's it fine too. It doesn't really matter. Faith um, is not enough. It wasn't enough for Thomas when he said, I want to rise from the dead. That's mad, man. Yeah. I want to see the wounds. Yes. I want to do that. I want to see. Let me see, you know. Yeah. And the one thing I always notice about, the great thing about Lourdes in France, the pilgrimage site of Roman Catholics, yes. a place Jim Wells told me he would never go to. I said, be lovely for you to go to Lourdes, Jim. He says, no, 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 I would never go there. He was joking, we were yes. laughing, we were talking mm -hmm. about good things. He's a very good man as well, as I like him actually. Yeah. He is a wee bit sort of stuck in his trench of ancient beliefs. But sure, yes. people are all over yes, the world no, doing this good, thing. Yeah. But the Lourdes thing, I've seen, the great thing about Lourdes is that people go there and their spirits are lifted, you mm. know? Yes. And they come back feeling better. Yeah. Very rarely, Will you see, you'll see lots of crutches where people put the crutches, we're getting into physiotherapy here. Right. Lots of crutches hanging up around where people are no longer dependent on leaning on a crutch to walk. Yeah. So the crutch is put there 
as a testimony to the miracle that has occurred. Yes. Do you know what you haven't seen? What? Prosthetic legs hanging around the, the grotto at Lourdes. Because <laughs> that would indicate a new leg had grown. Yeah. That would, that would be impressive. Would I be would impressive. believe. But I, do, I don't blame Thomas for, for wanting a little bit more information. <coughs> no. I think, Absolutely. I think we've given him a hard time, and I think we should forgive him. He was him. right. We should forgive him. We should forgive him. him. He was just interested. Are the, have what, you what, seen... Have uh, we more? Have we no, more? Uh, do you want... Okay, okay, yes. yeah, okay, yeah. okay. That's what you want. What You're going to get... Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Frozen for the future. If you have enough money, there are companies willing to freeze your deceased body in liquid nitrogen and store you on a shelf for decades and presumably centuries. People invest in the hope that in the future a cure will be found for whatever disease may have ended their lives. Don't count on wakening up any time soon, however. Human sperm and eggs, have even fertilized eggs, uh, can be suspended in time in this way. But there are more complex, but the more complex, complex, the organism, the harder it is to thaw it without damage. So the entire body, yeah, if so an egg can, the I entire body, we're not going to do it, are I th we? I think it's nonsense. I, I think perhaps um, they, in the future you could be cloned, perhaps. Yes. But, but there again, um, there again, you wouldn't remember anything because you'd, be, you'd start off as a baby, yeah. so why not just... Yeah. Absolutely. So I think I think that's a waste of money. So don't the, do it. Okay, I won't do that. That's out. Yeah, Number five yeah. is out. Definitely out. Yeah. Now, the uh, <laughs> what about the stuff of the universe? Do you know that uh, twenty-seven percent of our universe not visible to us and making up an estimated twenty-seven percent not uh, that's uh, that's dark energy, a force that may be causing our universe to expand outward at high speed and making up 68% of the total. So there's a load of a universe that, that we, we look at the stars mm. and we say, that's the universe. Yeah. That's only a tiny percentage of the universe. Yes. And what's in the dark stuff, they may have concocted ways of cutting out the reflective uh, light of the sun when it bounces on their planet surface so that no one will find them cowering. What dark do you think? Surface. Are you I, fascinated I think it, by the universe? Okay, not really. It, it's no? so big mm. that, and, and you know, our, our, little, our little galaxy will sort of implode yeah. in so many billion years. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, I don't really care, no, to be honest. No. I'm just fascinated. Ever since Dan Dare, pilot of the future yes. <laughs> in, the, in the Eagle and the Eagle, Radio Luxembourg, uh, yeah. all those years ago, yeah. I, I got to thinking, well, I'm fascinated by this. And yes. I would love to walk on the moon. Would you? I would. I'd would love you? to drive around Mars. Just fascinated yeah. by it. Now, whether I would want to drive around Mars at the expense of never, ever, in all of my entire future, come back to Earth again, mm. that's a different... But, I mean, at 71, yeah. why not? Yeah. I'm, I'm, the offering, first, I'm the offering. I'm offering NASA. On Mars, yeah. Yeah. What about during the week? The, uh, the, the International Space Station had to take a wee jiggle to the one side because the, the, the debris of a Russian rocket of 20 years ago was coming towards them. It oh, really? Got I didn't, 300 meters away. Wow, I didn't. I didn't hear about that. It's true. The, the, one of the uh, one of the rockets in is it was it in Virginia? Yes, it off Virginia. There, yeah. Yes. Within. You'd think that they would get that yes. right by now. Well, I think they they get. I mean, I, I think about every month or so a rocket goes up, doesn't it? it does. So they're all over the place. So there are, there's there's hundreds of them going up. So if one yeah. misfires, um. Uh, nobody got hurt, so no, we're all really pleased. Yeah. We wouldn't yeah. even be, we wouldn't be joking about it if someone had got hurt. Yes. But thankfully, yeah. no one did get hurt. Yeah. And uh, we work, work, I've got myself a, a bit of a gig at the moment. May I tell yes, you? Yes, I would love to hear. Well, it happened at the Dominican, and then it happened at the Presbyterian Church in Warren Point. Me, <laughs> can you imagine me gigging? Well, not really at the Dominican, not really gigging. And now it's going to happen in the Church of Ireland in Bessbrook coming up to Christmas. Lovely. It's the Linen Memorial by the great Canadian artist Lycia Troughton. And uh, the, Dr. Troughton has occasioned the creation of the Linen Memorial, which is 400 cloths, about, I should say, that kind, slightly smaller than that. Yes. And each cloth has on it ten names. Single line, a single name of those who perish. And those names are embroidered onto the white oh, linen. Oh, right, yeah. And every name in our troubles is embroidered, 4,000 names there, wow. by women throughout the world. It's a most beautiful artifact. And she's here 
taking it around the Catholic and the Protestant churches, nice connectivity, cross-denominational, yeah, interdenominational, yeah, yes. and also the names of the perpetrators of violence are captured alongside the victims of violence, which is an amazing kind of recipe for healing, isn't it? Wow, yes. If you can do that. Yes, yes. And at Warren Point, Joanne O'Reilly's mummy, the Joanne was the girl who was yes, killed I remember, in the explosion I remember, I remember that. at the police station yes. in, in, in Warren Point. Uh, the mummy came to it and saw Joanne's name. Oh. And she wept a little. But she's a wonderful Christian woman. And she said quite simply, I have no bitterness now. All bitterness has gone. Yeah. You know, it's terrible. Well, it, it, it would be wonderful if, if everybody could do that. Yeah, I remember iconically it was done by, it was done by Gordon Wilson with his sister, with his daughter Mary. They were blown up in the bomb at Inniskillen at the Cenotaph. Yes, yes. And Gordon <coughs> held Mary's hand under the rubble as she was dying, as her yes. lifeblood was bleeding away. Yeah. And Gordon was able to say, I forgive them, you know. Wow. When I think of people who just mm, modestly annoy me, I want to kill them. <laughs> you know, I should really have to yeah. grow, don't I? Well, yes, I, I, I feel that I should yeah. do that too. Um, but, but yes, I, I, I'm... I, I, I would. I think that the government here should. We should have some, s some tribute, some monument, yeah. um, to the troubles. You know, the 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 Americans have their Vietnam War. That's right. War the wall. with all yeah. the names, um, yeah. and it's and it's it, it's a healing thing, and it's uh, um, and it's it, it's something that we couldn't sweep under the carpet and pretend it didn't happen. And maybe, maybe see the enormity. I know four thousand names. It doesn't sound a lot, yeah. but but when you see four thousand names, yeah. all but written out there, it must be. You know, uh, there's a lot of names, a Absolutely. lot of a lot of blood Absolutely. flown for I no should, reason. Uh, I should apologise to someone here. Do you mind interviewing me about my apology? Would you do that? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, and it really is something that, to, and it's only in the context of anger and how people can forgive. I was over at the health village the other day and I pulled my car in, opened the door and the wind caught the door and burst it open mm. and it hit the passenger door of the car beside me. First thing I did was to look, no damage done. Excellent. Rowan breathes a sigh of relief. Result. I raise my gaze above the door to the passenger window and I'm confronted by the angry stare of a shocked mother, a young woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I said, I am so, so sorry. I apologize. I really, really, the wind, it was an accident. I said, but why, 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 blah, 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 blah. All of this is coming at me. Yes. I said, and I have a child in the car. <laughs> I said, look, I'm terribly <laughs> sorry. I, I can't say more. I am so, so sorry. I love children. I wouldn't want to hurt the child. Yes. And I was not being forgiven. There was no way. Right. And I, I understood that. Yes, yes. And then the lady got out of the car, yes. and I had got out of the car, just to walk around and say, look, please forgive yeah, me. Yes. And she was walking in to the health center yeah. to do her business, but leaving the baby unattended in the car. And I, to my eternal shame, said, uh, don't worry. I'll stand here and look after the baby you're leaving unattended. <laughs> I want to tell that woman, I want to tell that woman, I don't know who you are, but I have felt badly about that in the three days since that occurred. And once again, publicly and to the world, the whole East Coast and West Coast of America, all down in the Antipodes and wherever, I apologize to you for my driver's door blowing open and hitting your passenger door. I am sorry. And I'm also sorry for driving the, 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 the stake further in by saying, I'll stand here. I was wrong, and I am sorry. I, I, I think you could say no more than that. That, that was a beautiful so. apology. Yeah, absolutely. That was, but uh, that was funny. My legs are uh, yes, cyclically sorry. a wee bit better these days. At times I can skiddle along the street, 
Yes. Legs feeling like feathers. Yes. At other times, I drag my aging body along the street, my legs feeling like drain pipes made out of stone. Yes. What's going on? I, I'm, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, do you, do they hurt at all? No, there's just a, a, a deadness, a laziness in them. Yes. And they're, they're and, just and not it, as... Is it just fatigue, maybe? Could be fatigue. Are you, are you Could asking, be lack of exercise. Yes. But there, yes. does one's legs and musculature and body in the slowing down process as age advances, does one, does one, does the legs become heavier? The absence of finely tuned muscularity, which I had all my life, uh, I'm yeah. now sluggish. Well, Just from your 40s on. onwards, I think every decade you lose, you lose maybe 10 or, four, I think it's 14% of your, of your muscle strength. Really? Uh, in the decades, <coughs> but that's right. But but nevertheless, um, you should uh, at a, a sprightly seventy. Um, mm. it, it may just be lack of regular exercise. I think it could be that. Um, and and you'd probably be, be well to to get out and walk or mm. do something enjoyable. What I find is if I get rid of these lovely shoes, handmade yes. by the way, they're beautiful. Yeah, thirty years ago, got three pairs of them when I had money. Yeah. Handmade, and they're still good. Yeah, you know, you buy, you get these repaired, and it costs more yeah. than the price of a new pair of shoes that you buy in Tesco. Yes. You know? yes. But anyway, what I'm saying is, when I change out of these and get into my walking shoes, yes, with nice support in them, I can go like Billyo along our lovely mm -hmm. new canal side walk. Yeah, it's great. You know, it yeah. really, really is. But great. you could even, you could even see about getting um, some some mild orthotics in those. Have to, that, to give have you, one of that. To and give you a, yeah. and it's, a, a it's more good. comfortable it ride. Is good. Yeah. It is yes. good, it is good. But basically I'm not too bad. No more back problems. Good. But good. Well, oh, well, I do, I do, I do. Uh, I'm okay now, I'm sitting here, I'm great. Yeah. I'm no pain, yes. no stiffness, whatever, blah, blah. And you guys, many of you will identify with this out there. And here I am, I'm okay now. But, you see, when I get out of bed in the morning, mm -hmm. I am like Methuselah. I'm yes. bent and I'm, oh, and then once I do, ah, and maybe, ah, I'm fine. Yes. What's going on there? Well, I, I think, I think morning stiffness, so when you get out of bed in the morning, if, if you're <sighs> stiff, um, your, your joints are yep. achy and stiff and it won't straighten up, it's probably a sign of a mild arthritis. Yeah, yeah, I would um, have that. Just wear and tear um, throughout the joints of your body. Um, if it were to take um, two or three hours to loosen up, which yours doesn't. No. I mean, I, it's just, you know, if you get up and have a shower, you yeah. get out and then you're feeling yeah. fine. Um, shower does it, it. If it takes a couple or three hours to do, then it's probably something more significant. Mm. Uh, I think um, the onset of, of things like, uh, you know, of, 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 of inflammatory arthritis. Yeah. Um, it may take longer, so yeah. so that's certainly if you if lately you've been getting out of bed and you're three hours no. of of knee stiffness or oh, no. different joints. Being oh, stiffed, I would have all day knee stiffness. Then I'm just yeah. you know, talking for the for the the but, folks yeah. out there in yeah. in in la, la, la. digital land. Digital land. Yeah. Um, may I show you my knees? You would. Um, I'm sure. Is that a, because I have? Yeah. This is a demonstration yeah. of something, and you will. This is this classic. <laughs> You will have one knee that looks that, and another knee that looks that. And yeah. I want to know what's happening. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Is it possible for us to come in on my knees at all? I'm not sure if it is, but, but a little tight. Now, this is the good knee. Right. That's the good knee. Now, have a look at that. Yes. All right? Yep. yep. Now, That's describe good. what you see here as a, as a, as a, well, as a well, specimen of mankind. We can see... Can I come can, higher? Yes. No, no, that's good. No, 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 that's, that was What about good. the camera? Can it see higher? I uh, maybe come to here. This is yes, it. No, yes. there is the loveliness of Rowan's yeah. left knee. Okay, well, the leg's quite straight. Yep. Um, there's there's no there's no there's no um, bulging around here, None. which might indicate some um, osteophytes or which are, which are little bony spurs. Yep. Um, if the muscles seem good. Um, there's no there's no swelling. It it, no. it looks like a good knee. We can we can clearly see the yeah the, the, the patella. patella. I knew that. here. Um, nice, 
um, yeah. the insertion of the patellar tendon here isn't bulged out. No, no, uh, so, no. So that's good. So let's have a look at the no, other the one. The other one is well, a let's, different let's story. Oh, let this yeah. one up. Okay. Here's yes. the other one. Oh, I'm frightened about this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. All right. Ah, yeah. So, so does it, does it straighten all the way? Oh, it straightens to there. Is it comfortable? It's, it is, yeah. yeah. That's okay. Okay. All right. And let's bend it again so we can have a look. Um, it, it's hard to see if it's... Uh, I'm, I'm going just, to just have a little look. Maybe there's a little... There might be a little bowing. Yeah, so there is it, bowing. So that has been identified by Mark. Um, yes. What causes bowing in my leg? Then? Well, you have two compartments in the knee joint, and if the if the inside one wears out a little, yes, th they, they get it get the two surfaces get closer, so your knee will will tend to bow out a little bit. So I would say that that an X-ray would show loss of joint space um, on the, the on the inside of your knee. And bowing is not a physical bowing of the no, bone. No. It's a pulling of the bone into a different. It's 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 a change of the angle of of the yeah. knee joint. Now, My now, now, if if you were to have bowed out, yes, um, uh, uh, the the tibia. This is the tibia. The tibia. If, if that was and to the happen, then then we'd be looking at rickets, childhood oh, rickets, God. or something my like God. that. Which well, is you see lot. my hand here. Yes. Hold that there, just like that. Yes. Yeah. I just want to tell you, Steve. Yes. This is the first time I've ever quite felt like this. <laughs> and I just realized it as you were touching my knee. I mean, you can report me to the police for this thing. <laughs> now, you'll be able to wash your... Well, I had a shower this morning. No, so no, no, that's okay. great. That's good. You can wash your hands. Oh, well, come up so and we've sit had, up. We've had, we've had love. We've had... Love. We've had Did you knees? feel the same way? No, no, we no, were discussing. Oh, earlier. We were I discussing see. love at the beginning. No, yes, no, uh, yes, yes. No, that yes, wasn't no, a big no, announcement. We were no, discussing no, lofty no. things and and your oh, knees. Indeed, well, none and, better. And the, the viewers got to see your your lovely knees. They're not bad. They're not my bad age. at all. They're lovely. They're, they're, you can see they're very flat at here <clears> because <throat> worn by decades of praying. <laughs> God love you. And You're a good man. You and we're going to play you something now. I think it may be music. Uh, it could be ads. I'm not sure.